I've not done this. I've not done this structure. I've not done this sort of crossing the line. The festival wanted something different, something original, something special. Um, I've got numbered boxes on the stage and the audience will actually choose which number they want to see. So it's their choice. It's like a like a jukebox. So one doesn't want to waste time with too much nonsense. You want to get on to the next, to the next um, character. And uh, it's fun because it's very political. Some of it is quite offensive, I hope, but not, I don't want to offend people all the time. It is an ANC reality because 15 is empty. <laughs> I think in the last 40 odd years, I've, uh, yeah, I've done about 80 different people in my shows. Some of them are real. Um, uh, some of them are impersonations, but quite a few of them I created are my, my creatures. Um, and uh, so it's, uh, I'm, I've, I travel with my family, but at least the, I, if I have 17 characters in a show, they're in the boot of the car, not in a bus. So that makes a difference. So the first thing, Rayo, when you've used your condom, you put a knot in it and flush it down the toilet. Will you promise me that? You'll get rid of it so it doesn't lie around. It's very large, by the way, isn't it? If you are not going to enjoy yourself, by laughing at yourself, go and watch something on TV. But my job is to entertain, that's what I am. So I want you to uh, laugh a lot, which you will. I want you to have a moment of like, oh my God, huh? Um, that's all part of it. And I'm doing more reacting than acting. I mean, I listen, I sort of get a sense of what are they, are they with me on this issue? If not, then I must minimalize the issue, move on to an issue that people will identify with. Satire is brutal. Satire is a heart transplant operation without morphine. Satire is cutting your leg off and forcing you to eat it with a smile. You know, and people must not think that because it's satirical it's going to be fun. It's not fun. It's very, very brittle. Um, and my point is, I need, maybe I'm not a very good satirist because I have a 49% anger, 51% entertainment. You know, I don't want to, ooh, I don't want to bloody your nose immediately. Um, I need to have optimism. I think it's terribly important now in our society, today, you know, not to let the negative succeed in frightening us into silence and looking away, because it can easily. And I found there's always a balance of good news, but good news you can't find because it's scrubbing the floor. It's working hard. You must look for it. Um, and you must encourage people to look for it as well and encourage people to realize that in a democracy the people must lead, the government must follow. So politics still writes my, my material for me, so I, um, I'm, I haven't got a dull moment in my life at the moment, as you can imagine, with the politics of today. I'm going to bring in my impersonation of Desmond Tutu. But as long as we have our freedom of expression, we're okay. When we lose it, we are in big trouble and we're quite close to having it compromised. So my point is to everybody, don't take anything for granted. Fight for your freedom today that you might enjoy tomorrow.